now um, we've got to the drawing stage. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, my approach to drawing. I've drawn for uh, many, many years. I drew as a child and I drew all the way through art college and I try to draw every day. So I'm 30, 38 now and I've been drawing since a child and drawing a lot since about the age of 17, 18. Um, I have a real energy and passion for drawing and at the moment I'm combining digital work as you've seen in the chapters if you're following my course and also I combine digital with the traditional drawing you know using pens, pencils, etc. And um, basically I'm keen to share my knowledge with you, my knowledge and enthusiasm and, um, and in this instance we're drawing something that has, has a resemblance to the real life but it's not photorealistic so it's not purely abstract what, what I'm doing in this course but at the same time it's not um, purely representative it's expressionist so um, on top of the 3D graphics I'm going to do uh, my expressionist drawings um, okay so I have my own approach to drawing um, and I believe that drawing is good for everyone. Never believe that you cannot draw because there's no, in my opinion, there's going to be a lot, it's quite controversial, but there's no such thing as a bad drawing. Drawing is an object unto itself. You're drawing on the paper. It's not real life. It's not this pen. When you draw, that's, it's a representation. I'm not saying there's any, anything wrong with photorealism or drawing something that looks like something, that's, that's a great thing in itself. But there are other avenues to explore, and this is what I do, and this is, if you're interested at all in this, this is, this is for you, okay? So, basically, um, I, you've probably seen my drawings, if you're doing this course, you've seen my website. I do a lot of black lines, quite loose. And what I do is I try to add patterns in the, the compositions. Yeah, so sort of abstract patterns, but if they're purely abstracts, there's dots and things. But if they're rep if they've got representational elements such as city drawings, I try to echo the three D graphics behind the um, the drawing I'm making. Okay, um, one thing is that we've got the subject that we're drawing if we're copying drawing, if we're copying something from life or even a photograph, we've got the subject and this subject for example is a cityscape. Let's draw a very very quick cityscape, okay? With some trees, blah blah blah, okay? That's your subject, okay? And here's you, the viewer. I'll draw a very strange eye, okay? So this is the viewer, this is you. It's a bit strange just drawing an eye. I always think that looks a bit surreal. <laughs> we could add a pyramid as well, if you're a conspiracy theorist. So here's the viewer. And there's the subject, okay? And here's the hand that you make to use to make your drawing. And in the middle, we have what we're drawing, okay? So basically, we're copying the subject in our minds. So we're not copying it photorealistically if we don't want to, because we're drawing onto this object here, which is a piece of paper. So the piece of paper is different to the thing in reality, okay? So what I like to do on the piece of paper is to make an object onto itself. It's not the real thing, it's an, a reflection of the real thing, but at the same time it's an object in itself. A bit like a sculpture, so that's how I approach um, my drawing. Okay, um, and I use lots of different lines. I try to draw quite quickly because I find there's quite a lot of energy when I draw quickly. 
and I try not to think too much because what I find sometimes many people when they're drawing something for example outside I can see um, a spade yeah so they they're drawing a spade just very very carefully yeah and they think in their mind they're drawing a spade yeah but I don't think of it like that I think of it it's like the spade is surrounded by many other things okay so again we're taking it back to the object unto itself so just to reiterate I mean I believe that there's no such thing as a bad drawing at school you might be told by a teacher this doesn't look like anything you know this is, this is a bad teacher okay the, basically drawing is drawing look at famous artists look at Picasso etc etc their drawings often didn't look like anything they were objects unto unto themselves okay so just go out there and sketch yeah just get out and sketch and enjoy yourself and um, so the next part of this lesson I'm going to take my city work and work on top of it with some tracing paper which is over here so if you're doing the course please have a coffee now or whatever you like to drink or a break and I'll see you soon and then I'll take you through the process of drawing with the digital city printed underneath and now I've got to go and get um, the digital render printed for this lesson. Okay, speak soon. Bye.